We are learning new details on just how big this fire was. It broke out on the 15th floor and went straight up, spreading to around the 24th floor. Some 300 first responders were on the scene. It took them two hours to put the fire out, and firefighters say that was partly because the elevators were not working and they had to carry all their equipment up more than 15 flights of stairs. Right now, dozens of people are forced to find a new place to stay. CBS 2 Sabrina Franz is working that part of the story tonight. Sabrina. And hours after this fire was placed under control, you can see here just how much fire crews had to break so that they could fight the blaze 15 stories above where we're standing right now, above all of this debris where the cleanup is beginning. Empty apartments charred from the outside in and tenants who are telling us they have no idea when they'll be able to get back into their home. There was smoke all over. I hardly could bring, breathe. The fire's under control, but for tenants who live here in one of the units torched by flames, flooded with water, they feel anything but in control. Nobody's saying anything to us. Oyukina Bankole watched as the fire drew closer and closer to the home she and her daughter share. Her neighbor took this video, a similar view from a different unit, equally as terrifying. When I saw fire, naked fire with my own eyes, I had to run with my daughter. Tenants were told to shelter in place. Management claims the walls are fire safe. And we have sprinklers and everything, so I don't know how or why it could have spread like it did. Families watched from below as the fire rose. I went into panic mode. I cried because I knew that was her building. I said, that's my mother's building. Seconds felt like hours until she got in touch with her mom. We're just going to take her home with us. Now, not everyone we spoke with on the ground here had family waiting for them to take them to a safe place, but we have seen the American Red Cross and the city's Office of Emergency Management both on scene here to help those who are displaced tonight. We're live in Kenwood. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.